Welcome back. Well, the Golden Globes sure were different, but they still brought some fashion to the red carpet. And here to talk about some of the looks we saw at the show is our executive producer, Ashley Erling. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I gotta say, weird show, but happy that the fashion yes. was back. So, very weird. Let's just, like, <laughs> let's get was. it out there in the open. It was weird. The red carpet was weird. I'm sure people watching from home, I was watching, you know, the pre show mm -hmm. with red carpet. There was a red carpet on the floor, but nobody was really on it. So the fashion was limited um, to really from the carpet to the couch. Yeah. So we saw a lot of fashion at home. So we actually can really only show the carpet fashion. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But there's okay. plenty more online if people are looking to see what people were kind of wearing from home. And there were some interesting choices there, too. Yeah. So definitely take some time today to look up some of the different looks. We were just talking about anything from a hooded sweatshirt to yes. a full ball gown if exactly. you were at home. Exactly. It was kind of anything goes. Yeah. Um, but let's start off strong with Angela Bassett. Tell us about yeah. what you so thought of Yeah, so we're going to talk about a couple of the dramatic looks first. So mm. Angela Bassett obviously looks incredible. She was in Dolce & Gabbana. This is a really great example of kind of like what maybe you're a little bit more used to seeing at the Golden Globes. She brought the drama. This is a very strong look. And we didn't see that from everyone last night. And mm -hmm. I would say it ran the gamut to pretty much absolutely anything. But it was nice to see somebody kind of showing up on the red carpet and representing. And, and she, yeah. of course, just looks stunning. I mean, she always looks stunning. Yeah, she, like she can do no wrong. Tastefully showing enough. Like, yeah. And then I love that color on her, Yeah, too. she looks, looks so incredible. Uh, moving right along now to uh, Sophia Carson. So this was another dramatic look. So we're going to stick with the dramatic looks before we kind of ease into some of the other looks. Beautiful dress, but brought the drama with that kind of cape train situation and really, you know, kind of set the tone um, for what you would think maybe would be the rest of award season. Mm. But now we have no idea right. because anything could go. And, and for last night, really, that was kind of the end of the dramatic looks that we're seeing. It then moved on into a completely mm -hmm. different direction. I think she next... Looked, yeah, she looked very sophisticated, though. She's a young actress. Yes. A lot of people know her from, like, the Disney Channel if you're right. kidding. Right. I actually had to look her, her up because I was like, oh, Disney character. It's yeah. a little, you know, she's a little younger than people I'm used to knowing, but she looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, oh, so talk about your next choice. So Cynthia Arrivo. Arrivo um, she also dramatic, I guess, but in a completely different direction. Wow, yeah. You could not miss her, of of course, I personally think at least this is fun. There's a color. I feel like, and the Golden Globes, as you guys were talking about, are usually kind of like the more laid back one, mm -hmm. a little more fun. Good I think point. we usually see a lot of like color and things that are a little more exciting. So I was happy to see a color on the carpet because there was a lot of <laughs> darkness last night. Overall. She brought the brightness. She yeah. brought the brightness <laughs> she, for sure. She even up. Uh, Marco Robbie, I think, is always looks beautiful. She's stunning. She's never going to look bad. However, she looked completely different than everyone else. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, she looks casual pretty yeah. much. She looks like, you know, she's kind of going to a garden party, a Chanel garden party. R of course, yeah. But a garden party. But, I mean, she looks absolutely beautiful. She could never not look beautiful, but a completely different take on the red carpet. And what are your thoughts on the host, Amy? Amy and Tina. So we love Amy and Tina. They're hilarious and wonderful and mm -hmm. so fun to watch. Their fashion choices year to year Sometimes aren't hit always miss. my favorite. They played it safe with black. Mm -hmm. A little boring, a little basic, but I think it was a weird year and they didn't know what to do. So they said, let's wear short black dresses and kind of keep it fun. But like there were some serious like undertones to the evening too with representation. So okay. I think they wanted to be appropriate and not too crazy or over the top. So played it safe, but I mean, they're so fun to watch. And your last pick was Jane Fonda. I let's just, just let's always just take a look have at her to throw we... Jane Fonda in. Jane Fonda could never do anything wrong. As always, she won a huge award last night. She looked stunning mm -hmm. in this suit. I've never seen her look bad. Every time she hits a carpet, I just yeah. bow down to her. I feel like her hair always looks great, too. She looks My fabulous. mom's always been a fan of her haircut. Always. <laughs> Ashley, thank you so thank much. Thank you. And what were some of your favorite looks? Let us know. We love hearing from you on our social media pages. And now we're going to send things over to Will in the kitchen.